of youtube it's your girl ashley of course and thank you for clicking on this video so um the reason why i clicked on this video was obviously my bomb quick weave so if you're interested stay tuned today's video is going to be a quick weave and i'm going to be using my new crimpers that i got and I'm so excited. And I decided to do a quick weave because I don't know about some of you guys, but when I do my sew-ins, it's like when I take them down, I get so much like shedding or like hair breakage. So I think for a while I'm going to cut the sew-ins out and I'm just going to revert to quick weaves. And right now I'm still in the process of trying to grow my edges. So I have my edges out and I have my middle part and i just got my hair braided back and like six or seven braids and it's going to be going under this cap and i bought this cap from the beauty supply store i paid a dollar 29 nothing special i got me some hair glue paid a dollar something for that as well and um as i was braiding my hair i grease and oil my scalp with some jamaican black castor oil and the hair that i'll be using today is this straight hair that i took out um and this bundle right here kind of look a little raggedy because i was kind of crimping because i wanted to see how the crimps would come out and spritz my hair because i don't want any other glue to touch at all so you spritz your hair down i'm using this blow dryer um ceramics is green by baby bliss pro so she's just going to blow dry and this is how the back should look so after you do that you're going to apply the cap and when you're tucking your ends make sure that your ends really don't touch your leave out you want to measure where you want your track to be and i like to do mine kind of like on the braid so measure it cut it and then glue and i'm just going to be doing this until i get up to the top Okay, y'all, so as you can tell, I made a lot of progress. And this is how the hair is. Now, let me show y'all the back. I don't even know how the damn back look, but this is the back. And I'm still filling in as I go. What I'm trying to do is create like a curvature up here, as you can tell, because I kind of want it to kind of fall in my face just a little bit. But now, since I got some hair here, I think I'm just going to start with my, laying my tracks like this and not more so like this going. So, I'm going to come back when I'm more so up here. I just want you to see the progress that I have thus far. <laughs> Lovely, Mia. So, this is 
my progression so far i just turned on my crimpers these are conair crimping all over the box here's the box right here um double ceramic um by conair crimpers the color is cute and i have the deep wave one so what i'm about to do now is go ahead and cut this part so i can save my last few tricks now right here y'all gotta be, be extra 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 careful because this is right here so um and these aren't even the scissors that i, I wanted like i have actual hair cutting scissors but i can't find them right now and it's not going to go to work so it's already 1 30. so i'm just cutting and then i'm gonna cut my last few tricks when you're cutting, you're going to feel like the cat loosened, which is absolutely fine. Because the elastic band itself is, like, getting cut. So, there's my leave out. And I'll probably add, like, maybe another track. One on one side and two on the other. But now I'm just cutting off the excess cap. reveal my part um right now i have on the crimp crimping iron just in case i didn't say i did but i do now with this side i'm just only going to cut off a little because i wasn't sure when i was laying my tracks how much hair like how much um room i still had to go for gluing so i'm gonna clip my leave out just so i can see my part a little bit better. I really don't care for putting on my hair, but when I do do a quick leave and I do leave outs, I like to place the track directly onto my scalp and not my hair. As such. And then I just press down on it and glide my fingers. Now this hair that I'm putting on is like literally out of my hair bag. I think this is the other little bit of my hair, but it wasn't like washed or straightened, so and that's that and let me do the other side i don't know if it's just me but i'm just itchy as hell like my face and then i'm gonna do the same here now i'm gonna show y'all only a few a few crimps um in my hair and then i'm gonna have to go off the camera because i'm really pressed for time right now all right so well, take a little bit as such, and then pin up the rest. Brush through. There's my crimping iron. And I'm gonna hold these on for like 10 seconds. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten one for good luck <laughs> then i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna do the same one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven same one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Okay, y'all, so I'm back and I have majority of my hair done. This so whole side is done. So I'm feeling it like, okay. And I had to like switch my little setup to my bigger, um, my bigger mirror. So like I can get like a whole a full body, but this is what it's giving. 
I think it's really cute. So what I was doing was sectioning it off. And I kind of was like focusing on the back because I really don't know how to back look because I don't have a mirror behind me. So what I do, I part it. Then I take more so of the back, brush it out. Now, I needed a holding spray. I couldn't find one. So what I did was I used spritz. And then I do this and I like, I don't know. It's like I flip it upside down and then I still count the 11 seconds or whatever. But, um, I like, I like. I just comb it, like finger comb it with my hands. And back and back. But you can leave a lot of spray. Now, when I did the front on the other side, I kind of pushed it towards like more so front of my face instead of back. That's why this is laying like how it is. And I'm just doing it the same way. Now be careful because remember this is, um, well I'm doing a glue in so I can't really pull or like be too rough on the hair because the track is wet and that's a no, no, no ma'am. No sir. But um, it is coming along. Look at that y'all. So freaking pretty. And I didn't want like crimp crimps. Like I prefer to have a wig. <laughs> So that's why this side looks like a little bit more wavy than these because I didn't comb the crimps out yet. But this is it in its glory. And I do recommend this flat iron once again. Well, not flat iron, crimp iron is from Walmart. I'm not sure of how much it was because my girlfriend got it for me. So... But I'm pretty sure it was like no more than like $20, $25. But I would say get it. So cute. And I had the setting on the highest one, which is 30. And then I have the boost or turbo, whatever it's called on here. Now, I didn't I didn't do like my lead on the sides because... Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. I just had enough spritz for his hairstyle. I didn't do that because... I don't think I'm be putting any heat on it, to be honest, at all. I probably just un, I probably just unravel it and then, cause you really can't tell. To be honest, I can leave it curl, like leave it twisted how I got it, and then just like bobby pin it back, and then like just lay down the edges and leave it like that, which I probably will do, cause ain't no sense of me really taking it out, because and like you won't be able to see it. I have so much hair in my in front, and even if like I'm outside and the wind blows my hair, it's like that's all you want to see, but. I'm so happy I'm almost done. It seemed like, no lie, but it seemed like it took forever. <laughs> like, just the braiding and the crimping. Like, when I was gluing my track band, it was so easy. It took me, like, no more than, like, 30 minutes to glue my hair in. And that's how that looks. I'm really not sure how the back looks, so let me see. <laughs> no, I didn't behind me. The back really doesn't look that bad. I was kind of trying to focus on the back, but, I mean, I think I did fairly well. All right, y'all. So, oh shit. So, now I'm about to do my leave out. Now, all I did was take some Jamaican black castor oil and rub it together in my hands. And I'm gonna put this on my leave out because I washed my hair today and it's kind of dry because I didn't put any on. But I have my flat iron getting warmed up and i'm not even going to separate this yet or part it i'm just going to put it together and I'm make sure i get my ends too because my ends be kind of straggling so get my ends all right we should be good Now, I'm going to do one pass with my flat iron. I'm using the Cortex International. <laughs> got to take it this way. And I believe I got this one off of Groupon. So. And I just kind of want to get like the frizzies out of this part. So. Just so it'll blend in a little better when I do my crimps. 
And that's that. So, now. Now, the good part. So, I'm gonna take my red tooth and I'm gonna try to do the shape part I possibly can because I'm kind of off. <laughs> like, I don't know, I can't do the shape part because you're not like. Alright, so, this is how shapes is gonna get. Even though camera's still. Concludes the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification button so you can be notified when your girl posts more videos. So, deuces!